this afternoon. Bears quarterback Mitchell Trubisky said he suffered a right hip injury near the end of the second quarter of Sunday night's loss to the Rams. He also said it got progressively worse. Ago this afternoon, Bears quarterback Mitchell Trubisky said he suffered a right hip injury near the end of the second quarter of Sunday night's loss to the Rams. He also said it got progressively worse, and ultimately he had to leave the game with about three and a half minutes to play. Bears coach Matt Nagy provided more clarification on Trubisky's injury today. It sucks. I wish I could just finish out with my guys, but. Uh, they, they made a call that they felt was best for the team. You got to support that and just got to be 100% to, to be out there with your team. And you just couldn't do that. He has a, a right hit pointer. It happened on the, uh, the, the sack at the end of the second quarter. There's, there's nothing but pure honesty in, in all this. I mean, it, it's literally um, everything that I just told you, conversation-wise, every decision that was made, it had zero to do with his play. Zero. It was completely based off of um, the injury that he had last night and where he's at. But if he's healthy, there's no question he's your starting quarterback. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Matt Nagy doubling down on the fact that the decision to pull Trubisky was based on the injury. It is, however, overreaction Monday. So here's where I will start. The Mitch Trubisky era is over in Chicago. Ryan? This is an overreaction. When you draft the guy where you drafted Mitchell Trubisky and he does have some promising moments in his second year, I don't believe teams just move on from him. And obviously, Matt Nagy wasn't the head coach when he was picked. But he's the guy who has been charged or who was brought there because they expected to see some of that Andy Reid magic that we've seen with so many different quarterbacks. Now, it hasn't looked good. He hasn't progressed. He's actually regressed a bit this season. But when you look at this team and what they feel like they have, they haven't played well all around. Right. There hasn't been a running game. This defense hasn't been dominant since Akeem Nix is going out. And so there's a lot of things going wrong with this team. And I just can't see them today giving up on Mitchell Trubisky. It's an overreaction. I mean, I don't know how often it's been where you have a first-round quarterback, especially a guy in the top ten, not get a fifth-year option. You right. know what I mean? Right. I mean, it pretty much – you have I mean, look, it's happening right now in Tennessee. It's happening in uh, Tampa Bay. The era is not over. Since the guy's second year as a starter, there's been – as a full-time starter, there's been – you know, it, it, there's been a coaching change in his time in Chicago. And so I just think that – you know, to think that it's going to be smooth sailing for him just because it's smooth sailing for other guys that were also in that draft, you know, it's somewhat unfair to Mr. Trubisky. And, oh, by the way, it's not like it's all been horrible. Right. Now, does he need to play better? Absolutely he needs to play better. But you know, I think this idea that every time he has a bad game, you know, Bears fans or other people are going to say, you know what, he can't play, time to move on. I think it's just premature. It's an overreaction, but with an asterisk for me. And I'm glad that Matt Nagy cleared some things up mm -hmm. today. Because after the game last night, it didn't sound credible. And the way it looked on the sidelines when he was pulled, it looked like it was more related to his performance. And, and the way Trubisky reacted on the sidelines. I mean, okay, he had a hit pointer. I mean, you tell me an NFL player who's 100% healthy. Right. And, now it, and it probably impacted his performance. And, and I, I, I agree with that. Joints but, hurt, man. <laughs> They're so bad, though. Yeah, but, it, it, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not, say, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just actually just speaking, thinking out loud. The jump hurts. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, listen, I understand that. But here's what I, – when I see what happened last night, and it's kind of like the back and forth this year, and he's had yeah. the shoulder injury and all that type of stuff. An era. What defines an era? Is that a 10 years? Is that 15 well, years? His rookie deal is kind of the yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. His time uh, in Chicago really, as yeah, he, starting he, quarterback he, is the way I It's not over it. with his rookie deal. Yeah. But beyond yeah. that, right. yeah, but beyond I think that, you, I think there's questions. You, you look at, when you look at last night, the only thing that had me believe that it wasn't necessarily about the play was it wasn't like Chase Daniel was going to come in there and do anything to change the outcome of that it's game. Three and a half minutes. It wasn't like no. they were going to try to find right. a way to win the game by taking Mitchell Trubisky out. I know the other thing, when you look at kind of like the feelings about that, players, especially now, we know for sure he pays attention, right? He doesn't want TVs on. He doesn't want right. people. He knows how it looks if he doesn't finish that game. When 
Matt Nagy comes over to him and tells him, hey, man, your hip's kind of hurting. We want to pull you. He knows what it's going to look like, what's, what's going to be perceived by not finishing, and I think that affected him as well. That's where the team screwed up in my estimation. Here's, here's why. You're in a situation where your starting quarterback's not playing well. He's a high draft pick, and so you need to manage the situation yes. and the expectations of the fans and, and what is out there, okay? If you know you're going to pull them, which they did, they're talking about if you know you're right. going to pull them, you better get that information yes. upstairs to the TV yes. so that when it happens, it's yes. like, injury, hey, injury, they're all this injury. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that that's where they screwed up because now all of a sudden the people that, that aren't following up on it think, well, they just yanked him at the end of yeah. the game because he wasn't playing well. You need to be more aware of that than if you're the New England Patriots. If Tom Brady comes out of the game and Jared Stidham goes in, no one thinks it's, yeah. it's performance related, and so right. you don't have to be ahead of it. But when you're managing a quarterback, quarterback situation where the guy's not playing well and the guy's sensitive and you have to be right and, and, and listen, that matters and, too and, in terms yeah. of the long-term because, because, because the look, and I think you're 100 percent correct I, right. I, I think the look was it's like it was like this is a bad look mm -hmm. and it's going to have lasting impact on yes. Mr. Trubisky going forward but I, I was because it that, looks like he got pulled right yes. they're asking if he's still the starter going forward the Bears are at fault for that yes. like that's the part where they screwed up they yes. could have fixed it Agreed. by being ahead of it that's, that's a fair point especially when Trubisky ranks last 5.6 yards per attempt so they can be and also he is playing poorly and yeah. also 